Uh -huh. So it's that time that we have been all been waiting for, time to learn some proper English pronunciations. Last week, if you remember, I had a lot of problems saying ambiguity. Willis, how are you this evening? And have I said it correctly this time round? <laughs> Betty, it's ambiguity. Yeah. It's like you went in for some practice and I as did. I told you, there is something about you when it comes to English. <laughs> You are also keen on getting it right, which of is the course. best thing to do as somebody in a career of serious communication. But otherwise, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And Willis, over that weekend, last weekend, everywhere I would go, people would be like, remember, it's ambiguity. <laughs> <laughs> so, not, um, so it's okay, ambiguity. it's fine. Learning is supposed to be fun at the end of the day, <laughs> Willis. Yeah, so I uh, want us to yes. start, but I want us to start with the word on the street, Willis. Let's take a look at what Kenyans had to say this time round. Uh, popois. Uh, popois. 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 Popois or propois. Popois. All right, so Willis, I won't say much because I think that uh, that is the correct pronunciation. Popois, you know, popois. Is that correct? It is an animal. <laughs> so, Betty, no. Wow. No. Okay, I guess I was wrong. That sea animal is not popois, 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 and all that. Betty, if you can remember, yeah. and I think I've done something small today that is bringing the two words together for the sea animal and the other animal. Mm -hmm. And that is what I have here for our dear viewers. Okay. Betty, that sea animal, mm -hmm. we say paupers. No paupers. Way. Not popois, not popoise, <laughs> not popoise, and all that. You say paupers. <laughs> it's a tricky one. Just it is like we tricky. had totas. Totas. So you say Popas and totas. <laughs> not popoys, not totoys. So this is where we should always be sometimes, you know, keen on getting it right in terms of what we call definite knowledge of the English phonology, Betty. Mm. Knowledge, yeah? Not knowledge, yeah? We'll get to that shortly, Willis. But coming back to this popas, yeah? You know, even people still have yes. issues with the fact that toto, totoys is not totoys. But it's totus, yeah? Totus. Sounds fancier. There is something <laughs> that I want also to share with you tonight, Betty. Uh huh. Our education system mm. and many education systems in the world, yeah. uh, mostly outside Europe, you'll find that we focus so much on grammar and you find us understanding a lot about grammar, uh -huh. though we may not be perfect. But we have acquired, you know, we have acquired very accurate teaching from our wonderful teachers mm. on grammar and also when it comes to vocabulary. Mm. But Betty, when it comes to phonology, that is matters to do with pronunciation. In mm. fact, our education system, we can just agree. And not only ours, mm -hmm. but, you know, many parts of the world, we give or we lay little emphasis on the same, mm. leaving very many people, including you know, what we call all those whom we call the learned persons, yeah. they also sometimes are at a loss. And <laughs> this is where you find many people left with, you know, what we call conjecture, guesswork. Uh. And sometimes people end up thinking that uh. swallowing English words, swallowing words could be sounding, you know, unique or stylish. Just get the sounds right in a word. Wow. Wow, Will. I feel like I had a double English or double 
plus of pronunciations <laughs> that we list. <laughs> Truly it a happens, teacher. But getting it I right know. is yeah. very important, yeah. especially in careers of serious communication. But we can't Agreed. be perfect. Yes, yes, Willis. Willis, you said a word that I can't, I can't move on from it yet. You said knowledge. So it's knowledge and not knowledge, like we know it? Betty, don't say no. Just say no. No. And the next syllable is lidge. Lidge. Knowledge. Knowledge. Wow. Knowledge. You get knowledge. that? Knowledge. knowledge. But if eh. you say knowledge, please ensure that you use the weak sound eh. Knowledge. <laughs> but knowledge is what we now call the RP. But its approximations are also acceptable in talking because in English, you can't, or any other language, there are certain pronunciations like the target or certain languages. Yeah. You can't be exact like the native speakers, Betty. Hey, Willis, you're on fire today when your explanations are on another level. So <laughs> let's continue. So it's knowledge. Got you it. You have to get them right, my dear sister. <laughs> okay, okay, Willis. Let's move on from knowledge, yeah, and purpose and totus. Let's move on to this other word. I have problems also with it. Reimburse, reimburse. Um, how do you go about that? Oh, many people say reimburse. Yes. I don't know where we get this. It's just like many people who also say uology, uology. I don't know where that intrusive vowel sound or comes from. We just have eulogy, not uology. And we have reimburse, to reimburse, not reimburse. Reimburse? No. no. Reimburse. Reim Uology? No. Eulogy. Reimburse. Yeah? Re reimburse. Reimburse. Okay. Yes. Reimburse. Mm. Reimburse. And, and uology. Is that correct? Eulogy. Eulogy. No. You say you. Eulogy. Eulogy. E-U-L-O-G-Y. E that yeah. is what we have in the English vocabulary. <laughs> okay. Betty, eulogy. Many people say eulogy. I mm. think you've heard of that. Yes. But it's most of us eulogy. say that. Okay. Eulogy. Eulogy. Not eulogy. All right, Willis. Got it. Let's move on to the next word here, and uh, I'll spell this one out: M I S E R L Y, Mi miserly, 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 miserly. Okay. Miserly. That right. adjective, normally you describe somebody maybe who uses, you know, very little of his or yeah. her money. A miser. You know, somebody maybe stingy or mean, yeah. close to that. You say miserly, miserly. Miserly tendencies, correct? There we are. There we are, Willis. All right. <laughs> my heart almost, I was holding my breath that I wasn't strong. Okay, Willis. Moving on to the next word. And uh, this word you hear a lot of volcano, volcano. Which is which, especially for our kids in school? Vol volcano, vol volcano. Well, we say volcano, volcano. 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 That letter A takes its name as the sound in that word. Uh -huh. K, you don't say ka. Volcano. Vo but when you're talking of the adjective, you now say volcanic. Okay. Volcanic eruption. Mm. But the noun, mm -hmm. volcano. Okay. Got it, Willis. Moving on to this one. Now, yes. this one, especially uh, journalists, we use this word in the strangest ways. Alleged, alleged, um, how do we go about that? Allegedly, uh, allegedly, Betty, you know, I'm ready for anything. Allow me to say, yeah. Allow me to say, Betty, that alleged, alleged is a bit weird. <laughs> weird. And I apologize for using the word weird. <laughs> okay. You say alleged. The verb is alleged. Then you say he alleged. Even as an adjective, uh -huh. you say the alleged offense or the alleged crime, not okay. the alleged. But oh. when you are now getting to the adverb, mm -hmm. when you add ly, yes. you say allegedly. So Alleg you allege an alleged crime uh -huh. or he alleged that you did something, uh -huh. then we say allegedly. So what we okay. should avoid is saying alleged. Alleged, whether it's an adjective 
or the past tense or the participle form of the verb allege. Yes. Forget about that. Just okay. say alleged. 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 Got it, Willis. Yes. <laughs> Moving on to yes. another alleged. word. Just before we get to your surprise word, Willis. So do we say thesis, thesis, thesis? How do we go about that one? <laughs> but yeah, I have always talked about, you know, pronouncing English words from what our eyes see. You know, mm. English has a very, very, you know, I would use the word, you know, uh, tricky mm. uh, phonology. That is, the sound system vis-a-vis -vis the spelling sometimes can be very confusing. Mm. You see, when we look at the word milk, what we have is just M-I-L-K, milk. Yeah. That is what we call phonetic spelling, mm. a word that is pronounced the way it if is he, spelled. Okay. So the spelling corresponds closely with the pronunciation. But in this case, let us, let us remember, let us remember that we say thesis, thesis, not the thesis that we see. Yeah. It's a thesis. thesis. To write a thesis, not to write a thesis. A thesis, thesis. no. Okay. English is not, you know, like Kiswahili in pronunciation. Kiswahili, we say what we see. Yes. But with English, certain words can be very tricky, Betty. Yes. So here, yes. to write a thesis. A thesis. Got it, Willis. <laughs> Moving yes. on to, uh, we want to go to your surprise word, Willis. What? So, uh, feedback, feedback. Okay, feedback question. All right, so it comes from uh, Beryl. We have the feedback very fast, okay? Yeah, Beryl Nekesa. Even this word, I'm not sure if I can pronounce it, so I won't try. Let me just spell it. P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M-A-T-I-C. Para, paradigmatic. Oh. <laughs> Betty, that is just paradigmatic, okay. paradigmatic. <laughs> so it's, uh, remember okay. we have paradigm, you say paradigm shift. Yes. But that adjective now becomes paradigmatic, paradigmatic. A bit tricky, but you have to get it right. So mm. Beryl Nakesa, you say paradigmatic. And our dear viewers who may love to know how to pronounce it. Okay. Then Patrick Kakai and John Musiokaki Lemba, you say Apostle. Betty, this word seems to be very popular in our programs yes. or in our shows. Uh, apostle, you say apostle, not, not apostle. Apostle. Or apostle, no. Okay. Apostle, an apostle. apostle. But we say apostolic. Okay. So Patrick Kakai and John Musioka Kilemba, there you are. Linda Awino, you say conjunction. Conjunction. So don't say conjunction. <laughs> conjunction is a bit, you know, common, but say conjunction. Okay, Willis. Then we say bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie. Mm. That is from Edwin Omonia. Bourgeoisie. Say bourgeoisie. Okay. A bit tricky. Yes. There All you right. are, Betty. Okay. And Francis Lupau, you say panacea. 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 Not panacea. Okay. Not panaki. Panacea. Okay. Mohammed Ahmed of Wajir or Wajia, if you like, you say wow. Wow, that is that exclamation. You spell it as W O W. Yeah. Not W A U or W A W. Okay. The correct spelling is W O W. And you say wow. wow. Then you also say ouch. Like <laughs> you could be wondering what has happened. If somebody pricks you, you say ouch, not ouch. The spelling is O U C H. So Mohammed Ahmed, get it right. Betty, some of these things may sound simple yeah, but tricky. Yeah, it's true. So ouch, <laughs> not ouch, and you also say wow, but the spelling is W-O-W. Okay. Okay. From feedback, the final person here is Dr. B.M. of Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Dr. B.M., what you say is severe, severe, severe. headache, okay. severe, not severe, severe. We also say persevere, to persevere, persevere, not persevere, the okay. way we commonly say locally. All right, Willis. After that, Finally. our surprise word for tonight. Yes, Willis, very When quick. we are talking about the main artery that carries blood from the heart to the rest or the other parts of the body, many people, if you remember uh, your you know, lessons in biology, 
or those you know people who know about anatomy mm. many people find themselves saying aorta aorta yeah. no that is what you see uh -huh. you say aorta aorta <laughs> not aorta aorta that artery is called aorta, aorta. not aorta okay so we okay. should be careful sometimes about what we see. All right, Willis. Betty, before I bid you bye, confusing words. Very quickly, Willis. We have devote, to devote and devout. Devote is the upper word. Yeah. D-E-V-O-T-E, -E, devote. D-E-V-O-U-T, devout. Devout. If you need more, our dear viewers. <laughs> If any dear viewer needs more about pronunciations of anything that is English, especially basic English words, just always ensure that you don't miss Friday Briefing, and that is Mind Your Language segment. And you can also reach me on at Willis Ocheng1, and that is on Twitter. Back to Betty. All right. Thank you so much, Willis, the word master. Uh, Willis Ching Wan is his Twitter handle, so if you have uh, any more questions or you really want to know why we say knowledge, then you can just tweet him and uh, have a conversation with him online. All right, so that's why we wrap up Mind the Language for tonight. But like he said, you can always tune in here to Friday Briefing. Every Friday we have Mind Your Language where we learn the correct pronunciations of uh, difficult pronounce word, English words. And uh, one of them being volcano and not volcano. And knowledge and pronunciation. All right. Let me not turn into a Willis, so let's go for a break. We'll be coming up shortly with uh, sports news, but still remember that I have my uh, guest tanker, Babu Owino, still here with me in studio. So don't go, we still have so much more to come. <laughs>